Hi, I'm Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands. This is my first um, YouTube video, so please bear with me. I just want to give, come on today and give you an introduction to what I'm all about, what I do, and have a little play with something. Um, I've got an idea in mind which I'll come to in a little while. Uh, basically, my Etsy shop does um, layered flowers um, and samples of this are I shall zoom you in a little bit so you can see them better move this little flutter by out the way Oop, what have I done I pressed the wrong button thank you technical guy So my flowers are layered four layers. I have three different sizes currently and each one has a little gem in the middle to blend in with the colour and style of the actual flower. I also make little um, fabric clusters. They're approximately an inch square so they're, they're tiny ones um, which quite um, light to fit on a card or um, in your scrapbook or journal or whatever you want to use it in so a sample of get it a little bit closer to the camera so you can see the different colors i use things like inside of christmas cracker or the app the christmas cracker cardboard inside of envelopes uh, wallpaper old cards, old photographs, scraps of paper that are too small to do anything else with. I cut the petals out and I layer them. So they're all pretty individual um, and I have fun with them. Um, designing the different layers and trying to come up with different ideas with it. So this is what you would have in a free gift um, for an order. So if you order something from Debbie's Crafty Hands Etsy, then you will get one of these alongside your order. Putting that to one side. Little other little things I can do. I can make, I currently haven't got any in my shop, but I will have some nice um, hairband, um, sort of, they're hairbands, but they go over a bun. So you, um, can slip them over a bun and they just have little flowers around them or the traditional style hair bands in different colors i mean i've got some nice bright colors here but i do them in muted colors as well and if you're interested i can fit to the length you need um 18 inches is basically what i use but if you have a smaller or a larger head to to do or a baby size then just let me know on the message on Etsy and I will um, endeavour to um, match a colour and a size to, to suit your occasion. Just having a little rummage in the corner here to give you some more samples. Um, this is the sheets will come, the small flowers, the tiny half inch flowers come in a smaller um, sheet but they I think it's 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 no that can't be right 5 10 15 20 20 am I counting that right no it's not 5 it's 6 4 6 is 24 they come in sheets of 24 it's a long time since i put these on here so i'm i'm not 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 remembering correctly i do apologize and i'm also a little bit nervous first time on youtube so please bear with me um we do different styles so these are the big ones um they will come in batches of 15 i do remember that much um 
Um, so as you can see, these are the one and a half inch, the bigger ones, and these are the half inch. And I'll do one in between as well. Which I thought I had ready, but it seems to have disappeared off me. Where have you got to? These are similar to the free gift, but they're mixed selection. So if you didn't know what size you wanted to get um, for your card or whatever, then you could get a mixed selection and that will give you different size options on one card. There's eight small, five, one and a half and or one inch so that's that's quite a bargain for you know getting a nice selection of different colors and sizes at the same time and you would also get one of these alongside it so you've got more selection there as well so that that's basically my bread and butter stuff i do do jewelry as well so I currently have a few pairs of earrings on the site get them back to how they should be they've been ruffled about in the bag a little bit um, so there is a pair of lovely hooped earrings uh, just zoom in on those And I also have some, oh, they disappeared so I'll have them ready as well. It's funny, you have everything ready and it disappears. <laughs> My technical guy's making me go all blurry now by lifting up the card. Um, what I wanted to do with you today is just go through a couple of little paper crafting things and some ideas. Um, each video I'm going to put out I try and say a little bit more about myself so you can get to know me um, I'll answer any questions that may come up on the previous YouTubes um, and do a little crafty project I know that nothing's new on YouTube everyone would know how to do certain things or whatever, but I just want to have a little play and if you want to come along with me then I'd love that. So my idea for today is using birthday cards, greeting cards, whatever, you can use cards and cut off the greeting. You can keep the greeting on, whichever you like, really. Um, and make them into little notelets that you can give as gifts. And... Um, repurpose some papers that would otherwise go in the um, recycling bin or in the the waste um, if you're worried about little marks on the back like the US UK mail or whatever then you can just stick a little label over it it you know it doesn't show too much you can write over it but it's quite fun writing around it to be honest so it, it you know either way whichever suits you better so you can either select some paper that you've got lying around and scraps or whatever and make one of different scraps you can make one but i'd like to make them out of old inside of envelopes so that's the one i'm going to try and do today you can also do them long ways to make like a shopping list type style I think I'm a bit zoomed in here. Let me bring you back out again. That's better. It's a bit close to the camera there. Um, so yeah, you can have different different styles, different shapes, and depending on the card you're using, as it may be short and square, it may be long and thin. I wish I was long and thin, but I'm more the short and square guy. But here we go. Can't I will have everything we want, can we? So I've chosen the ribbon for the one I'd like to work with you with. And this is the picture I'm going to be using. Now it says happy birthday on the top. 
that doesn't matter because I'm only going to use this image in the square. I'm going to keep this white bit on the side because that's where I'm going to punch my holes. Um, so I just need to trim it down a little bit just to um, get it to the size I'd like. I've done a little grid on here, but I think that little grid's a bit, a bit too wide. So I'm going to come in a little bit from the grid that I'd originally thought and just have a very faint white outline around the pink square. Now I'm going to be very careful not to cut the happy birthday because I can use that elsewhere. So get rid of that one. And then with the happy birthday, if I come down a little bit, I can then reuse that greeting on another card uh, for another day. Um, the cutter I'm using is just a very generic one. I'm not even sure what where I got it from. Probably somewhere like Hobbycraft, but I couldn't be 100% certain. Now, I nearly made a terrible error there. I nearly chopped the edge off that I was going to put my holes in. So, good job I stopped myself. Let's trim up the little bit at the bottom and then we can see what size we, we need to make the paper. So, I'll leave him smiling at you for a moment while I talk about the various types of inside of envelopes. I think you might be surprised, and I certainly was, when I counted how many different styles you could get in inside of envelopes. Now, you get mostly blue and grey where I live, but you get different tones. So there's the blues and the greys. Um, you get different patterns, different... So you have honeycomb look, you have the stars, you have the chevrons, um, and each of those are in different colours as well, and, and various blues. Oh, apparently they're not chevrons. Diagonal lines. <laughs> oh, she chevrons, yeah, chevrons go zigzaggy rather than diagonal stripes. So, um, I've got a grid pattern here. Um, all sorts of, now what's this one? This is a different one again. This is different to that one, to that one, to that one. So we've got, I mean, that's just five and I just picked them randomly out my pile here. Um, so you can vary, you know, what you use. Oh, I've got a, a grey stripy one as well. So compare the grey to the blue. Same pattern, different colour, gives you a different look. You can easily write on these. So, but you can also use wallpaper. Scrap of wallpaper, that's easily written on. It's got plain on the side, um, the other side. Can work, use both sides. So, think to yourself, can I write on it? Can I use it? Is it thick enough? Because obviously you don't want it too thin, otherwise your pen is going to go straight through it. Um, so you could use this Amazon wrapping paper, but what I would recommend is because it's a bit fine, you glue pieces, two pieces together and use it as a bit thicker. So it gives you a bit more um, heft to your paper. But I mean, that would make some lovely notepads that packaging um just a bit of prit stick glue or whatever your glue of choice is for a stick glue um, and then you know you can go ahead and make them now there are some inside of envelopes that are very dark such as this one now depends on what you're writing with if you wrote in red or more bold etc then you could use it but I would recommend use that for other things because it's a little bit dark to be seen clearly when you're writing your shopping list etc so um, but then we just measure to cut to size so I'm going to do these greys and blues 
um, and I need to just measure and see how um, how much I need to cut them down um, this is what I'm going to use the back of um, my card and you can round corners as well if you'd like so I'm just going to to mark my edge and trim my my backing down if it's a little bit worn around the edges then it just gives character shows it it's been repurposed so we have our back and we have our front oh, nearly had an upside down front now this little bit in the corner here this little, it's going to be worn out anyway so don't fret yourself over it too much it's on the back anyway so and doesn't matter if it doesn't completely line up if they're different sizes then you know it's not going to be the end of the world I use a cropper dial for my hole punching but you can use a normal office punch if you'd like to um, whatever you have available and I'm going to use the bigger hole setting and I'm going to come in from the top all the way down and then I will come in from the bottom exactly the same all the way down and then it will give me an even setting either end And I've matched up alongside the pink so it hopefully if I've done it correctly will be level here as well so that's my my base the other thing I would like to do is score along this line here now I'm lucky that my cutter also scores so I have to move the orange one up the top so I don't accidentally cut it turn it upside down so I can get it on the line easier and I'm just going to use my score bit just to give that a little bit of a bend so that when you're folding it back it's easier to fold back like that and then that can go back so it, it just helps it to lift a little bit if you're worried about the fact that it, it might wear uh, you could just run a little bit of tape along the back here to strengthen the, the fold but it should be fine so now we need to get our papers cut out so a little line here a little line there that's one paper so um, and these windows you can make um shaker cards with um put that on a a card cover around it and put your little bits of tinsel in seal it up makes a lovely shaker card so don't go wasting those either that that'd be great for that my next one i need to make sure that i don't go over this edge here because then it will maybe peel away so i have to make sure i'm in the main part of the body of the envelope now i can't quite get two out of that unfortunately but i could always save that bit for a long skinny one have i got enough for this one Ooh, just about so i could trim off the edge if it comes in a little bit thinner not too bad the top there trim off the edge now i wonder if i go that way would i be able to get two in not quite so trim there and trim there i'm just getting them marked up and then we can go to the cutter um, I'm not quite sure how many pages I'll have by the time I finish, but I'll have a count up in a minute. Um, 
So I'm happy to answer questions um, on the chat. You know, if you have any questions, and um, I will try and answer them in my next video as much as possible. Right, so this one we managed to get two across. I don't think we'll get four. No, it's not quite long enough for four. That must have come off a big envelope, I think. And this is an even bigger envelope, so this is it's a good one. And you can always alternate the colours of the pages, give it a bit of um, variety. Um, oh, might get three across this one. The slightly smaller one, but I think that would be all right. And will we get any more this side? Yes, we will. So one there. one there and that ripped corner we'll have to use that for something else so let's start with this one these lines are just for general reference uh, right, I can use my cutter which is the orange go up move along move along the line please and to come back down now if you don't like the fuzzies then you can use a nail file to um, get rid of them but I don't mind them and that little chewed corner is, is character good character they do Right, now then, one, another one, one, two, three, sounds good. That we can use elsewhere, I'll put that in my little box in the corner here to um, reuse that somewhere else. That might even become one of the petals on the flower. You never know. So, so how comes we got them so big when I drew round it? I don't understand that. So what we can do is line them all up. You saw me draw around them, didn't you? Why is it so big? Very strange. Okay, so we'll line it up with that. And we can chop them off from there. That's better. Maybe it's a wonky pencil maybe but for every problem there's usually a solution somewhere along the line so it's best not to just panic on it just calmly line it up and chop the edges off you could do it with a pair of scissors or even as a knife if you chose to Right, a couple more to do, and then we'll put it all together around this way. Try and do the long side first if I can. Um, yeah. And then. These ones are correct size, so that's correct that way. Not. No. So it needs to be lined up here. So, so there's some there. And that way. I've lost my line. Where's my line gone? Oh, there we go. All oh, those bits can go in that pile. Yeah. That bit. 
get out of the way, you. Thank you. That one wanted to stay. Didn't want to be sho shoved in a corner. This one's slightly shorter, but it'll still be fine. It'll just mean there's not so much to page. But it still works. Right, we're ne nearly through the pile. And then we can start um, the construction. Just tidy these edges up because I think they've been especially this jiggy jaggy one. That's it. And two more and then we can uh, construct our little notepad. Now this one I didn't go quite all the way up because then I can use the actual oh, me line again. Yeah. Use the excess bit. Okay, I got him out. And the last one. So what I would suggest is start collecting your old envelopes because you can do so much with old envelopes as you probably already know. Now then, how are we doing? Get them all up to one end. Let's have a little test and see how they are for height. And width. They're not too bad at all. So now we need to mark where we want to punch our holes and try and keep them all together. If you have a little bulldog clicker or something like that, then you can um, use that to hold them together. As long as they're all level at the join where you're going to be putting your ribbon, then the rest of it can be trimmed off afterwards if you feel you need to. Now I've got to try and see my hole. <laughs> this crocodile is quite nice because you can line it up with the hole in the in the crocodile. also does eyelets and things as well but we won't go into that today so we put our lid on and find my base wherever I've hidden that and now the ribbon now what I like to do is come in from the back and I fold my ribbon in from the side and then from the other side to make a little point and then usually um, you can just push it up and through. But of course it's not going to work now I'm on camera is it? Here we go let's try again. all lined up get myself lined up with a camera that would help as well wouldn't it not too dark now I think I might need a little help because it's so I'm going to use my little thin scissors and just push it up and through and then catch it that's it we're, we're through you can see we come through on that side and then we need to do the same the other side but making sure your ribbon is whichever side 
you'd like to face out along the back like that so I want the spotty side up so I need to fold this and then fold it in half again make my little point and push it up some, oh I got it that time I so said sometimes you can grab it straight away and other times it can be a bit of a a mischief maker now my ribbon's not very long it's just what I had to match the colour um, so I'm just going to tie it in a, a knot and then a knot but you can you know as the others show you can do a nice little bow but just in a double knot usually it sits quite nicely as well it can sit along the edge like so I can trim that down little diagonal trim that down in little diagonal and if you want to stop it fraying then I use a little lighter and I just literally skim along the edge obviously you've got to be very careful with using flame but I'm keeping it well away from the paper and up in the air and it just literally melts the edges so it doesn't um, fray the, the ribbon so there we have it our finished article and how many pages did we end up with that's the question and I didn't put them in any specific order I just gathered them together so they're not they're a bit hickledy pickledy but not in a set order now that you could write on or you could put a label over it or you could just stick a picture on there um, you could write on the top so I'm not, I'm not too worried it just shows and then once again the pictures it just shows that it's been repurposed and oh that one didn't quite make it and the holes so I'll have to that was a little short one that we had it obviously didn't come up to the edge um, as well as it should have done right on that there yeah I'm happy with that um, any addresses that you have you might want to cover up I'm just going off camera there to just cover up the address I hadn't realized that was on there there we go um, and another one so that's a learning curve for me make sure you check your dresses before you start showing this on the camera but yeah so I'm happy with my little doggy thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed my little session um, please like and subscribe I think is what you say isn't it um, and I'll see you in the next episode and I'll come up with something new and fancy take care everyone bye bye